Hey, what's up everybody in YouTube land? Welcome back once again to the motherboards.org YouTube channel. And today is launch day for the new 69 series from our friends at AMD. Well, we've got a really, really nice HD 6970 from our friends at Sapphire. This is the new Bad Company 2 Vietnam version. Now, this thing comes in a solid metal case, like a gun case, has lots of extra stuffs, including a free download of this new game, Vietnam, for the Bad Company 2 uh, series. So, follow along right now as we show you all the cool features of this card, how fast it is against the competition, and at the end of the day, whether it's worth your money as the end user. Okay, the new AMD Radeon 69 series features a dual graphic engine, the new VLI W4 core architect, which you can see illustrated here. It also has a fast 256 bit GDDR5 memory interface. AMD has busted out some new features here, which is the Enhanced Quality Anti-Aliasing, or EQAA, and there's three types supported. Adaptive Anti-Aliasing, Super Sample Anti-Aliasing, and the new Morphological Anti-Aliasing features. You also get the new AMD PowerTune technology. Now, what this does is this either increases your performance by 20% or decreases your performance by 20%, whether you're in gaming or non-gaming mode. This is pretty cool because it actually can make your computer save energy when you're not in gaming mode. The card also features fifth generation vapor cooling. Now what the vapor cooling does is it helps get all of the heat away from the GPU. Now for efficiency and acoustics, this makes the card run cool and also keeps it from being very loud in your PC. For those of you guys into the iFinity technology, this card supports up to six monitors out of one card. Here in this illustration, you can see how this is done. Now onto the specifications of the HD6970. You've got a core clock of 880 megahertz. You've got the stream processors of 24 SMD, and you've got texture units of 96. You've also got a frame buffer of two gigabytes of GDR5 memory. The memory width and speed, as we talked about before, is a 256-bit memory interface. The power to maximum limit is 250 watts. The typical gaming power watt is a draw is 190 watts, and idle is 20 watts. You need also an eight pin and a six pin power connector, and the display outputs are two DVI, two mini display ports, and one HDMI. Okay, so the scores are in. Once again, now these cards are all built on the reference design, so most of the 6950s and 6970s you're gonna see here on launch day are all gonna be based on a reference series card. So this card runs about the same as the XFX card as far as speed goes. Now, some of the really nice things though that I do like about this card is you get this really nice metal case you get the free games, it comes with all the accessories you need, all the plugs and all this stuff, and it's still $389. So as for the 6970 launch, I got to say that I give this card the editor's choice just because it comes with so much nice features in this bad company two package that you get. So at the end of the day, it's worth your money. It competes with the 570, still can't beat the 580. GTX 580 still holds the crown, but this card is a seriously editor's choice product. It rocks and thank you Sapphire for providing the card.